Hey everybody, I get questions all the time in regards to water hardness and pH and there's a common assumption out there that as we raise our water's hardness we are also going to raise our water's pH and most of the time that's true but it's not always true and it's not actually the water hardness that is affecting the pH so a lot of times when I get asked questions about it I will give an answer that can kind of seem like I'm splitting hairs or maybe I'm being pedantic Antic, but sometimes it's worth splitting hairs because it's important to tease out the details of what's actually going on so I can figure out the problem that's being asked of me to help figure out. So sometimes when I'm splitting those hairs is for a reason. And today we're actually going to talk about why I'm so specific when I talk about the differences between pH and water hardness and why water hardness is not necessarily correlated to your pH. Now what accounts for water hardness is the amount of dissolved calcium, magnesium, and technically iron, but iron is such a trace amount that we're not even going to really worry about iron. In this case, we're going to talk about calcium and magnesium because those are the common ones in the aquarium hobby. So the amount of calcium and magnesium in the water is what determines its water hardness. Calcium and magnesium don't affect your pH in any way. So if you're simply adding calcium and magnesium to your water, you're going to raise your water's hardness, but you're not going to affect the pH and that's important. You can raise your hardness without affecting your pH. I've done demonstrations where I've shown this in the past. Now where we run into a little bit of confusion and why we seem to conflate the two that is why we always associate water hardness with pH is because in the aquarium hobby the most common way we raise our water's hardness if we want to increase the hardness for whatever species of fish we have or whatever it's usually by adding some type of calcium carbonate and it's the carbonate that raises the pH. It's the carbonates that are actually buffering your pH and are sort of neutralizing the uh, free hydrogen ions that are in the water. And the more of those hydrogen ions get taken out of the water, the higher that pH number goes or the less acidic your water becomes. So it's very common when we do raise our water's hardness, we also raise our water's pH, but that's only because of the method of the way we're raising the water's hardness. If we raised the water's hardness by adding a calcium and magnesium supplement that was not carbonate based, then we wouldn't affect the pH at all. It would simply raise the water's hardness and not affect the pH in any way. So there really is a difference between how you're raising your water's hardness. So if I ask a question or if I sound like I'm splitting hairs when I say now, you know, your water's hardness isn't what affects your pH because a lot of people will say, well, I have hard water, therefore my pH is, and it's an assumption they make. They just assume that because they have hard water, they also have this higher pH. And a lot of times when people actually check, they're surprised to find that their pH is not as high as they thought it will be based on their water's hardness. Because again, it's the carbonates in your water that determine the pH. And you can have very hard water, but still have a low amount of carbonate in it. And that will give you that odd, again, it is odd, but you can have low pH and very hard water at the same time. It is possible. So there's a reason I'm pedantic about that. There's a reason I split those hairs and ask for those fine details and kind of want you to check your pH rather than make these assumptions because it can get kind of confusing out there. So test, 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 always test. That's the only way you're ever really going to know is by testing. So thanks for watching this. If I made it any more confusing, please let me know in the comment section down below. If you got any questions, thoughts, or whatever, by all means, leave your comments down below. I will try to get back to you as best I can. Don't forget, I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell, and that way you won't miss any of my live updates or anything else that I do. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.